lovely friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa. Today we're sponsored by Monster, and I've gone back to really liking the black and green one, I think, because I'm, like, working again, like, a proper job. I like having sugar in it, because I feel like it actually wakes me up. The white one I love for the flavour, but this one, like, gives me a bit of pep, you know? I thought we could just do a little chit-chat, get ready with me today, and I am gonna kind of do like my work makeup, like what I do every day or like just makeup I've really been enjoying my face and I feel really suits me recently so if I was like going to work I'd wear it or just like out and about I'd wear it. Also do you like my nails? Yes, I'm a real girl and we're just gonna get into it while I flim flam about life you know. I'm obviously gonna prime with my Revlon Candid Concealer because there's nothing else in the world. We do have both boys in with us today. I'm sure you'll see them at some point. It's actually, yeah, it's quarter past one. I woke up really late today, about like 12-ish. I've been very, 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 very tired though because I have the flu, so it's just making me a lot more lethargic than usual. I think I'm going to wear a wig today, which is why I've slicked my hair back. I just fancy it. Plus it's beanie weather so I can get away with my wig. I've primed and I'm going to set my eyes immediately. It's not something I usually do, but because I'm not really doing a super dramatic eyeshadow look, I have to set this because I've tried it unset and I just get eyeshadow and like liner everywhere so I have to set my light and I'm using my favourite Maybelline Superstay powder. I was just thinking to myself yesterday how is this not hit pan yet? I have used this for months and like almost every single day and it's not even hit pan. This powder really is beautiful. I don't think I speak about it enough. It sets my mate. I would say it's the dupe of the, Ma the Mac Studio Fix powder, but a lot cheaper. Uh, super. I use ten ivory. If you're wondering, it's a pretty good match for like my skin tone. Can we keep the door shut? Cause mummy's like sprung to put the heating on, so we're gonna keep the heat in the room. Okay. Then I'm gonna use my tape. I need more of this. If any of my sausages are in Primark and find this tape, can you get me like two or three rolls of it, and I'll PayPal you the money because. I cannot find it in my local pre-marks and I really need it like that's almost finished. <laughs> I'm not trying to do like a high wing, I'm trying to do a very like cat like what they call siren eyes. Oh no it's done, it's done. That's it, it's done. Siren eyes on TikTok but we all know it's cat eyes. And I just start off with a black pencil liner that I can smudge, smudged. And I'm just going to put it on the outside. So what's been going on? How are you all? Tell me how you all are in the comments. I've obviously been like off YouTube for a while. Like full time. I've done videos here and there. But I've not been like on my upload schedule. Or like doing my lives every week. Stuff like that. There's been a lot going on in the background. Like some... Stuff that's just really knocked me for a loop and then other stuff that's like good stuff but it just means I'm busy and then I just haven't had time to film. So like I feel like it all started going downhill like last maybe like November, December time. I'm really just focusing this out here. I don't want to take that too far in when I was dating that guy on, that I met on Tinder. I don't know if I've spoken about it actually on my YouTube channel, but I was dating a guy that I met on Tinder. We dated for months and months and months and it was really, really good until it was really, really bad. And I should probably, I'm not gonna talk about it in depth, but if you've had a bad experience with a partner, you might, I don't know. I'm not gonna go in depth, but basically, as bad as it can get, really. Bad, bad man. Tried to ruin my life. Did a lot to to start that process. And eventually, obviously, I did open up to like my closest pals about it and my family and then I was able to get away from the situation. The whole time I was pretending I was fine, which is just crazy. Like, how you can just pretend 
and uh, I was just embarrassed as well to like tell anyone about it. But anyway, I, I did eventually get away from this horrible, pathetic excuse of a human being. But I feel like my confidence was just like really ripped away from me with it all. And then I was just like dealing with it and being sad about it and I felt like I couldn't sit and film and be like woo do 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 makeup because it just makeup just felt stupid. And, like I was trying here and there. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a oh I want this brush actually, but it is oh it's one of the new Stacy ones. Stacy 303, it's a really nice little flat brush. Um, yeah, so it's just not my confidence. I just didn't feel like I could be all happy and airy fairy about stuff, and uh, I just took a long time to get over it. And I'm still not quite over it. Into oh, this definitely is eyeshadow on it, this brush, but it's fine because I'm going to use eyeshadow anyway. So, yeah, that kind of took the wind out of my sails when it came to doing like makeup and just having fun with it and stuff like that. And then, this is going to get bigger than I meant it to get, but whatever. What colour should I do? We'll do browns. Browns are very flattering. Let's do browns. I feel like... Oh, let's do browns. Look at my nails. They're really cheap, by the way. They're like press-ons from the beauty outlet. I love them. I'll just grab my go-to, my wee Be Perfect. Uh, North nudes and just dip into these. So yeah, I just didn't feel like I was finding a lot of joy in things after that and then I like started to like go back on tinder and like bumble and stuff all fine and then life just kind of it just I never really picked back up with the YouTube. I was just like I felt like yeah, just my confidence was knocked with it all. Anyway, moving on to like more recent times. Obviously, I got the job at the hotel, which I'm, I love the job, to be honest. I love my colleagues. The job is good. I've done it a million times, so I know what I'm doing. And I'm working like three days a week. But I've been working more days because people have been on holidays. And so that kind of then took over my life. So I've been doing that a lot. So that's left less time for filming and then on my days off I like wanted to go see friends and family and like do stuff that I wasn't able to do during the week because I was working so much. So YouTube again was on the back burner and the whole time I've just felt like super duper guilty about the fact that I'm not doing it because I enjoy doing it and like it's my fun time you know. So yeah, that's kind of why I've not been on YouTube so much. Like I'd say the major reason is the guy obviously and then just like life gets in the way doesn't it this doesn't even have to be that blended and it just works that's why I love this kind of look it just takes me minutes and I'm really not taking it in far I need to get rid of this eyelash glue I am gonna add a wee bit of spadircle to it because I did it yesterday and I loved how it looked and then I'll just go back in my black pencil just at the very bottom. Just make sure that's the darkest part. And then this for Darkles, it's going to be Mitchell Drip Drip. Emily and Janice, when they were, Emily and Lucy, I should say, not Janice. When they were here, they both wore this like every day on their eyes and they looked so beautiful. And then Emily sent it to me to because I was like, I need that. So I'm going to put a bit on the back of my hand and then just use like a flat brush with another Stacey one. Not intentionally using these, but why not? I'm just gonna press this on my eye and it just adds like little tiny silver dots of glitter. Who doesn't love a bit of glitter? You can really build it up, but I want it a little bit more sheer and just diffused around the front. It's so pretty. This would be great if you'd like a Christmas party to go to and you just wanted to add a wee bit of sparkle like you could put this shade over anything and it would just make it glittery or you can just wear it on its own like this and it is just stunning okay the satisfying part emily will like this and i'm out of focus can you believe that all right hold on oh, still out of focus that's great anyway i mean that is pretty much the eyes i'm gonna do the inner corner i will do that right now 
I'm gonna use my Huda one and I have to be really up close to my mirror so I'll be back in two seconds. They don't match entirely but they they never do. It doesn't really matter to be honest. And then I need to take any of that excess like primer and powder off. Also without a shadow of a doubt the Huda eyeliner is my favourite. It's just the best. I'm gonna use my Vitamin Enriched Face Base Dupe from Primark just to moisturise my skin. I actually did skincare before I went to bed last night. Do you know why I don't like doing it? Genuinely, I always wake up with really watery eyes and then it ruins my makeup for the rest of the day. This is such a good dupe and I'm completely out of my Bobbi Brown one. So this is uh, all I'll be using for the foreseeable. But I do love it, so I'm not complaining. Let's move up in the timeline a bit because I feel like for a long time during like since like last December to like now I've just kind of been floating about alive not doing YouTube obviously. I'm going to use my Ciate Extraordinary Foundation. I love it. I've been wearing it a lot. I, I go in swings and roundabouts. Like I also really adore my... Where are you? Babe, where are you? <gasps> I adore my L'Oreal True Match for work because it's just a like a cheaper alternative to wear it every day. But also now it's winter, I'm back to preferring a more full coverage base. I don't actually know why it is, but I just feel like in winter it just I can get away with a more full coverage and I enjoy it. But yeah, what's been happening to me? So obviously I've got the job. I'm working away at the hotel, really enjoying it. Uh, but. I didn't know this. They didn't tell me this. It's a zero hour contract. I just had like got my contract after asking for it a few times and it's zero hour. So I'm not too happy about that. And like next week they both they only scheduled me on for like less shifts than I usually do. And uh I was like, meh, what's that about? They just don't need me. And then they shut over Christmas and New Year for two whole weeks, which is cool because like never ever in a hotel do they shut, let's be honest. Oh, I forgot to put my primer on my forehead. But you're like forced to take two weeks holidays and I don't even like accrue that many holidays because I'm on a zero hour crappy contract. So I don't know. I do feel like I need to start looking for a different kind of reception job because that's not got very much security in it. And like if I'm forced to take two weeks over off over Christmas and New Year, I'm not gonna get paid that much at all which is a bit annoying, so I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I really like it, it's about 20 minutes away, blah blah blah, it's great. Anyway, then, recently, we had a huge sausage meetup, so sausages are my Patreons, if you didn't know that. So, we have like, a Telegram chat, a Facebook group, stuff like that, it's a really good time. And I'm gonna take this down my neck, because it is not quite the right shade for me. And we arranged a big meetup, so Tia flew over, Sylvia, I'm not going to mention everyone's names because I'm going to forget like one person and then it's just going to be crappy. But so many people like flew over from abroad, from America, from Finland, ETC, ETC. And it was like the best time ever. It was like two weeks. Everyone was in Aloha, like people came and then left and then other people came and left and it was like just a big mishmash of arrivals and departures but it was such a good time. We had so many lovely days together, so many lovely evenings and dinners and like meeting each other in person for the first time. It was just absolutely wonderful. And if you are a sausage and you haven't seen it, there is a full length sausage vlog. If you go on your Patreon, you can see the link to it. It's like an hour and a half long, I think. So I did vlog the whole thing. I'm not the best vlogger in the world, but I did try and get everyone that came on camera. We had like a big Halloween night out. We did like pub dinners and played pool and I just tried to make everyone try Pints of Stella because Pints of Stella are my favourite thing ever. That didn't go down well, people didn't like it. Don't know why. I'm going to use my ABH concealer because my Huda one is running out and it's my absolute favourite. This is quite similar, although not as good. It's a bit paler as well. That's fine. This is my favourite foundation brush of all time, by the way. BK Brushes started sending me, like, PR. And they've sent me a bunch of brushes. And this brush has my entire heart and soul. It's the 101. It's, like, an angled 
foundation brush and it's the best thing I've ever used on my face in my life. It's quite expensive. So like when they sent me all the brushes, like me and the sausages were giggling like about how expensive they were because I don't like really promoting very expensive things, especially in this economy. But if you wanted to get like one really special brush, maybe for Christmas, this is an excellent one to get, especially if you like foundation brushes. And I'm not usually a foundation brush girl, I like a sponge, but this really is all of my dreams come true in a foundation brush. It's better than the It Cosmetics. It's better than like any other foundation brush I've tried basically. Oh, the Sausage Bee year was just mad. Like a couple, a few of them were staying in like apartments that they like Airbnbs that they'd rented right across the road from me so they could like stare in my windows and send creepy pictures. It was hilarious. And it was just lovely meeting so many of them for the very first time. Like I've met, obviously like Tia and stuff, I've met her before and Daniela and that, but like Sylvia, it's just a ray of sunshine, all of them are. It was just so wonderful. And yeah, if you haven't watched the vlog, you should go watch it. One aspect of the sausages being here that I personally didn't enjoy uh, was someone, not mentioning any names, someone brought the flu over. Not, not the Rona, but the flu. Just the regular old flu. And Tia got it when like hers hit her like a few days after she'd been here and she had to spend like two days in bed and then she wasn't feeling great. Uh, mine hit me on like, I think it was like the last day that everyone was here. It was really, really bad. And I've still not got rid of it. I'm still coughing up with my lungs. I'm still sneezing and blowing my nose constantly. I am still feeling so like tired and lethargic. And I don't really get sick. I get sore. I don't get sick. So it's really annoying. How good does my skin look? Just... <laughs> that foundation's great. Yeah, so like... I have been working like pretty much since they left. So it's not like I've had heaps and heaps of time to sit and film anyway. But... Like, I've, I've been less inclined to film because I've been so sick. And like coughing to the point of throwing up which is just the worst because throwing up is like the worst thing ever please don't be scared of these freckles they always go on looking at nuts don't think anyone at work has clocked yet that i don't have freckles naturally i've got like one or two <laughs> i've got some on my body but like i don't think i've actually gone in to work one day where i've not had full freckles i see you just go over your brush you smoosh them in Make it look like they're sitting underneath your foundation and it just looks wonderful. Okay, I'm going to quickly set this and then we will continue to move on. Oh, we've got a sausage man. A lovely sausage man. Oh, you're going to squash me, aren't you? Why don't you go settle on that lovely bed I made? I'm going to throw back and use my Revolution Contour Kit. I used this the other day and I was like, why? I forgot how much I love you. Yeah, so still dealing with that, but it, I feel like it's on its way out. I do feel like it is on its way out. So hopefully soon I will just be back to absolute normal. This is the little Zoeva brush that Daniela gave me. I asked her to find me a good contour brush. It's the 114 Luxe Soft Focus. It's actually my first time using it because I tried to use it when she was here and I dropped it in a cup of coffee. I never really put my contour up here. I tend to just put it like in this area. What what else exciting happened? Oh, so I got an invite to the Stacey Marie Glasgow like launch of the new Carnival palette. I've already done a video on that. It was my last video, if you haven't seen it. And then I was like, oh, so who's all going? It's like chatting away, and then I realised like I looked at my invitation again. I don't actually need to contour up here because I'm going to have my wig on today so I'll just leave that. I was like oh who's all going? Chat away and then I looked at my invitation again and it was a different time it was like 7 30 till 9 p.m and then they also said on afterwards we're going to go for uh, cocktails and food at Panang in Glasgow and I was like why what this seems a bit fancier um like what that's exciting so it turned out it was like a 
more like private one with Stacey Marie and she did a master class so she used obviously her new palette I dipped into the wrong contour shade for my nose and that was so cool there was maybe about I don't know 20 or so was there I met like Alan Craig I met Chloe Shanna MUA I was proper fangirling like I am one of those really awkward people to meet people it doesn't ever go well because I'm like you're famous and like I watch you on my on my laptop and why are you in the same room as me why are you talking to me what's going on but it was really fun like um I've always wanted to meet Ellen actually and then Chloe Shan I just love her makeup so it was just bananas meeting them in real life and it was a really good master class we were about like shop the store and like I said I they gave us actually a bag when we walked in I took my friend um Kirsten. She lives in Glasgow-ish and I was like, I'm absolutely not going alone so am I allowed a plus one? And they were like, yeah, absolutely. So I brought Kirsten with me and we went out for a few drinks beforehand. I got an earlier train so we just sat in spoons and had a couple of pints. I think I actually had a bottle of wine and then a couple of pints because I was so nervous and uh, oh, I just get nervous for events. It's just not me. I don't feel like I'm made for that kind of life. And uh, God, look at that contour get absolutely coming through after all of these years. I love it. Adam Minto's left Makeup Revolution. Apparently over some like, like not sending their VAT returns or something in time. But Adam Minto's left and he's the one that was quite problematic recently with Makeup Revolution. So I'm wondering if Makeup Revolution's going to have a bit of a turn. Are we going to like use them more? I don't know. I need to like look into it and stuff but there's obviously a lot of Makeup Revolution products that I adore and I still use them but I don't buy from them anymore. I'm going to use my Beauty Bay face palette for bronzer because I love this palette so much. I was about to use another one but I'm going to do a full face like first impressions, full face of new makeup. Either today like after I've gone out and come back and then I'll film again or tomorrow because I am off work tomorrow as well which is great. It's wunderbar. Uh, Stacey, I've actually met her before. I met her like in 2018 or something. It was when I was at like the height of my back being bad. I was on crutches and it was a Glasgow event as well. It was when I was with my ex-husband. Like he took me and stuff and I met her there. And then this was the second time I've met her. But like we've chatted and stuff on Instagram and that. And she's a very supportive, like she's one of those very supportive people that have done really well for themselves but they have time to speak to other people. Oh my battery's gonna run out. And can I just say she is more than what you hope for in person. She is just as nice if not nicer. She had so much time to stand and talk to me and talk to everyone else. Like I must have spoken to her for about 15 or so minutes and she had all the time in the world to chat even though I could tell she was tired and she probably wanted to go home like she did a long day and stuff but she was so lovely that bronzer has my heart and soul like i have other bronzers that i love as well but this one if you're debating this face palette just get it. it is so good i was chatting to her about like her brush set so she's not going to do like them individually i think i said it in my review uh so she, like she's not going to sell the brushes individually she also is not going to give me a carnival six that is all blues very upset about that but she's not the biggest blue fan uh yeah she's just lovely and it was, it was a really good event like the first part of it i really 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 loved i'm actually just going to use this for the highlighter as well i might as well get the money's worth out of it and i'll use another stacy brush the 101 it's actually like technically i think an eyeshadow brush maybe but i'm gonna use it as my highlight brush yeah, so the first part was great and like I said, we got to shop the store so I got the palette already because I had the voucher and I knew I had it. So I said to Kirsten, I was like, are you going to buy the palette tonight? And she was like, no, not right now. I think I'll probably like ask for it for Christmas. And uh, I was like, well, no, you're not. I'm going to get it for you tonight. I've got a voucher and I'm going to get us both a palette because they're like, what, 40 quid each or something. So I was like, I can get us both one. And then we got there, we just got handed a bag that had the palette in it and I was like, oh! So that was really exciting. So then with the voucher, I was able to get the brush set. And these are lush. I, I knew I wanted the brush set. So 
I was very thankful I was able to get it because the brushes are really wonderful. How beautiful is this highlighter? It's like a uh, sausage dye line. You think he's just sitting there nice and quiet and you look and he's chewing your cable. No, 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 you don't need to back things. It's okay. But you see, afterwards, right, we went to the restaurant. I think it's called Penang, is what I said. I think it's like a Thai food place, really lovely in there. Like, I would go there again with my pals just to show them how nice it was. But me and uh, my pal got there first, and they sat us down at these tables, and then like everyone else arrived and they sat them all at other tables like a big table all together so me and Kirsten were just sitting in the corner and it looked like we weren't part of the group and it was just a little bit awkward to be quite honest and I just felt you know, like when you're in school and you feel excluded and it, it was no one's fault like obviously it's the restaurant staff had like sat us there and stuff but it just kind of felt real awkward I won't lie so yeah that's what happened so I didn't enjoy that part so much, but whatever. I'm going to use the blush and another Stacey brush because I used it yesterday for blush and I liked it. I still think I'll like this brush for cream products as well, but I'll just use it for powder. I'm not a heavy cream user in winter. Winter's fuller coverage matte products. Summer is light coverage, glossy, beautiful cream product skin. It's just how I am. I don't know why. I feel like my makeup styles changed a lot. Like my day to day makeup has changed a lot to what it used to be. And I really like it. I feel like it flatters me a lot more. That palette is great and quite affordable as well, which I really enjoy, obviously. Who doesn't? Then the only other thing I bought at the Be Perfect event was the indestructible the indestructible brow for they sent this to me in pr like a while when it came out and i used it up completely i had never used up brow products ever in their entirety so as soon as i got there and i realized i could spend a bit more in the voucher i was like bam so i got this uh, and i was trying to convince other people to buy it because it's the best brow gel i've ever used it's like the consistency of the abh one so it's like a thick clear gel and it's the only like I can really mold my brows into the shape I want them to be and then just leave it like they're just done like I still fill them in but I don't have to like correct the shape or anything with like pencils and that and I really like this tiny little thin spoolie that it comes with I actually I probably should have got two of these just to have a backup because it really is my absolute go to. It's 10,000 times better than the ABH one. Anyway, I'm not trying to sit and sell you products here, but it's really good. After the event, I was a little bit hungover the next day, I won't lie, because obviously we had a few drinks before it started, and then at the restaurant, we had a few more drinks, like real nice cocktails, wow never had some of the cocktails that they were serving us they're not like unusual cocktails I just never personally had them before so I really really enjoyed those and uh, what I really enjoyed as well was like spending time with I'm putting it underneath that wing bit just with the tip of this brush I really enjoyed spending time with uh, Kirsten as well so first time I've hung out with her just on my own. The first time I met her was at our very first like sausage meet up in, in Edinburgh and there was a big group of us and then the second time there was me, Tia and Daniela so it was like the first time I just hung out with Kirsten on my own and uh, you know when you just click with someone it's just one of those moments. It's just great like the sausages have brought me so much like joy and stability and positivity and just greatness in my life and I'm just always so 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 thankful for them that's just my darker brown on my actual freckle to come back to the brows but what I do because Tia like made me start doing it is put my freckles on again but with powder so I tend to use like this brown one kind of mixed and I'm just going to put a few more freckles on just because they do kind of get lost under 
like the powder. So that event was like a few days ago now. I was, yeah, a bit hungover afterwards and then I was working, I think, three, four days in a row and it was all night shifts as well. Not night shifts, but like finishing at 11 p.m. So I wasn't getting home till about, like, and settling down till about 12 and I didn't really have, like, I couldn't really film on the palette before work because I'm not going to go into work with crazy makeup on. That's just not me. And also, if I then like film a look and then take it off to do like work appropriate makeup my eyes will just water and I won't be able to put any makeup on so yeah I wasn't able to film but I was able to film it yesterday and then I'm planning on like a grey green oh I just there's so many looks I want to do with that new palette I do adore it so much and we've got a few more freckles just with my powder and then I want to use a nice dewy setting spray is my the beauty crop we cherie one I need to give it a really good shake sausage will probably freak out and jump off my desk i'm gonna lean back to try and not upset him no he jump off with the fan <laughs> the amount of time in my life my life is inconvenienced because of the cats like i'll be in a rush and i need to hoover and make my house like presentable because the cat litter obviously goes everywhere but I can't do it because the cats are like sleeping on a seat and they look so comfy and they don't like the hoover so I'm not gonna like upset them with the hoover <laughs> so I just have to like work around them. Right I'm just gonna go throw my brows on very quickly and then I'm gonna need to show you these lashes that I got because I adore them and they kind of make this look much better. Look at the difference that the lash makes it's just I haven't like put more liner on top yet but like that is the lash no lash La what I found these on Shein I never shop on Shein to be honest but I really wanted lashes and I was sick of buying my eyelers for like six pounds and then they broke because the lash band is so skinny so I wanted three quarters and then I saw these and I thought well they look really pretty for like more dramatic makeup looks they're actually like I wore these to work yesterday and I don't really wear big fake lashes like day to day I usually wear my natural ones but these are stunning so I'm just going to put on this is the pair I wore to work yesterday and my velour lash glue which Tess topped me up on thankfully I like literally run out and this is my favourite lash glue and I paint it on top of my actual lashes because then they stick to the falsies and I don't stick the end of the lash like this end to my lash line I put it higher and then I'll work on like sticking my own lashes to that but like come on mm. stunning <laughs> come on so cheap so stunning I need a lip liner I'm just gonna grab any lip liner because I'm just gonna do a nude lip and then uh, actually I might not be lazy for once in my life I will remove what is on I actually do it usually now for work just because it's less uh, build up -y on the lips if you remove it this is my melt lip liner and what shade are you wearing boy CPR and I always fill in my lips entirely I'm not completely finished lining uh, with the lip liner because then if my lipstick rubs off I've still got the lip liner underneath. I'm so messy at doing lips. Honestly it's something I just cannot master after all of this time. I tried to even it up. I never get it and then when I'm filming I'm like oh that side's higher than that side or vice versa but you know what whatever i'm gonna use mac best of me because the lipstick i want to use is in my handbag which is in the hallway and it's cold out there i've got the heating on the living room because i'm drying clothes and then i got the heating on in here and the rest of the house is really cold i don't know if you can even still get this lipstick i'm not sure it's really nice and pale but this lip liner is making it darker that is really pretty if you love like a deeper brown kind of look. I'm gonna lighten up with a tiny bit of concealer just because I prefer a paler nude. You all know this. 
but yeah, I'm off today, I'm off tomorrow, so obviously I'm filming today, I'm going to film tomorrow, then I'm working, and then I'm off, and then I'm working, and then I'm off, 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 working, working, so I'm really trying to get back to the filming as much as possible, I love it, I miss it, I enjoy it, I feel bad that I like haven't been doing it and I want to be back at it again so I am really working on it I promise and then my finishing touch always which is somewhat controversial but not really but somewhat is hairspray and this is always my finishing touch lashings of hairspray that will keep my makeup on all day Without budge, my makeup will look this good. It's what, three o'clock now. My makeup will look this good by 11 o'clock tonight. It's not gonna budge, it's not gonna move. The only thing I ever kind of sometimes need to do is put a little bit of powder just on like the end of my nose, just cause that does get a bit shiny. But apart from that, like my makeup will not budge. But yeah, that is, that's me. I'm gonna go out, I need to go to the post office. I need to go to Asda and get cat food. I need to go to B&M and get cat litter. I need to, what else, I need to go get, put diesel in the car, I need to get something in for dinner. So I've got a few errands to run so that's what I'm going to go and do and then, I don't know, I'm going to try and film a second video but my eyes water terribly when I remove my makeup so I don't know if I'll be able to but anyway yeah, that's what's been going on uh, and lots of other stuff too, good stuff, bad stuff, normal everyday life stuff but yeah, basically I'm going to try and be back to filming full time because I miss it terribly and yeah it's what I want and I want to have a new lease on it so anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a wee thumbs up leave me a comment down below how has your life been recently 2022 is not maybe the year of greatness is it and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to become a sausage aka patreon the link is down below it's a really good time join our telegram chat so many friends to be made it's just the best thing ever and yeah, I'm going to piss off. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!